Hi again, Ellen back uh, with another look at the Duo Fiber Yuri from Gisela Mayer. Uh, I have done a video about the uh, wig itself, so that's talking about the fibers, talking about the cap construction um, and the wear of it and all the things you want to know. But this video is focusing on four colors. The good people at Simply Wig sent me um, a selection to look at. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about each of the colors, just show you what they look like uh, in the light that I have in here. Um, I have my daylight style uh, lamp that I use for all these video reviews so you get a good sense of the color in the natural light. Um, on my head at the moment, I'm wearing Duo Fiber Yuri wig in medium gray, which I have to say, I really am digging. <laughs> I'll give you a quick recap on the wig. As I say, do have a good look at the other video as well, which goes into this in a bit more depth. But this is a monofilament bob wig. Um, it has mono uh, top here and a polyurethane strap. Uh, strap. I keep saying strap when I mean edge. Polyurethane edge, just holding it onto the forehead here. So no less front, as you can see. Not needed really, though, because of the fringe. Um, as I say, it's a beveled bob shape, and it is a blend of 30% human hair and 70% new fiber blend, which is a new innovation from Gisela Mayer, which means that it is very natural, very light, very soft, and it is heat defiant. You can use your heat tools on it up to 150 degrees C. I am a big fan of this wig already. Um, I think it's beautiful. Um, these colors are all stunning. Um, I, I definitely would be perfectly happy to just have all of these in the cupboard and just interchange them. Um, very beautiful, very subtle, and we will have a good look at them. So we're going to start with this medium grey. So I love this. This is brilliant. This is a really lovely colour. Um, anyone who has watched any reviews I've done before will probably already know that I'm quite a fan of a cool, slightly ashy blonde. Um, and I do have quite a few wigs in those sorts of colours. Um, this is obviously very cool because it's grey. Um, it's not a rooted colour. One good thing about that is it really shows the mono off. So let's have a little look at that. Look at that lovely monofilament. Isn't that great? Let me just move it that there. So can you see this? Yeah. You've got some real deal scalp going on. So what this is, is this is not a... Um, you wouldn't really consider this to be a fashion grey in the sense that it's not meant to look like it has been dyed this colour because it's unrooted. So it's a, it's a natural looking grey shade. That said, I can't tell you that this is not fashionable grey because it is. Um, let's get a look. So as you can see, it's very light and bright. Very light and bright. And it seems to be to me that the lighter of the fibres, in terms of the colour, I mean, sort of the, the, the off whites and sort of slightly pearlescent aspects are blended into the top. And it seems to be a little darker underneath. Now, I'm not sure if that's in my imagination or not, but it doesn't matter either way, because it really does look beautiful, really beautiful. As I say, it is kind of cool on the cool side, but... I think my camera is picking it up reasonably. You may be able to see that there's just a very slight, cool, icy blue kind of tinge to it. Not a blue rinse. This is not a blue rinse. It's just cool. And, it's, and it is cool. Cool in every sense. I love this. I think this is fab. This is a stunning grey. I absolutely love it. As I say, it's my daylight simulating lamp. So what you're getting here is a look at just how shiny and luscious that looks. And would look if you're walking around wearing this. So I think anybody any age could wear this colour. I would wear this colour. I have no problem at all going out in that. It's absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning grey. If you happen to be, and of course you are, because uh, all older ladies are sassy and cool. So if you happen to be a sassy and cool older lady and you're thinking, well, I'm a bit grey, I don't want to stray too far from that natural grey that I've got going on, but I would like something sharp and edgy and cool and also very flexible with it being heat defiant, you, uh, you could not go far wrong with this beautiful wig. And as I say, with it being heat defiant, you'd be able to get it to do whatever you want it to do. So yeah, if as I come back, it's really catching that sort of pale icy silveriness. It's beautiful. 
It's beautiful. It's perfect. I'm keeping this one on throughout the course of this little colour showcase and we're going to look at the other colours as well. So next up I have for you, all well, my tags are tangled up, I have the Duo Yuri Mono in Sparkling Champagne. Look at this. Now this is a rooted colour, so I'm going to show you the root. The root is fantastic. It's very, very subtly done. It looks a bit dark on my camera and I'm just trying to... Yeah, that's a bit better. If I just tilt that into light, you can see that actually it's very well blended, delineated. So rather than being a kind of harsh grow out root, it looks a bit more deliberate than that. Um, like the very fashionable kind of shadow root, as they call it, where you can get your stylist to blend that out if you're having your own hair coloured. So it looks intentional. It does not look like this other colour has grown out in that sense. It looks like it's been blended out expertly and expensively by some high end stylist. And we all want to look like that, don't we? So this is a beautiful, quite warm, blonde so as you can see we have quite a lot of golden sort of mid blonde and some chunkyish highlights if i hold that there you're getting a good view of that isn't that nice how pretty is that so we have these chunkier highlights but it's a nicely blended color and then where it is lighter it's a kind of beigey blonde with just the occasional pick of a slightly more pearl kind of colour, which is just picking the light. How nice is that? It's very, very fashionable blonde. If you are um, familiar with the term bronze, <laughs> which is basically a transition between a brown and a blonde colour that is neither one nor the other, despite being called sparkling champagne, which suggests very much blonde, this I would, I would put myself out there and say I think it is heading into bronze territory because it does have these high and low lights through it and it's quite warming it's very rich very very rich color it's absolutely beautiful and as I say it's got the most stunning blended root just gorgeous and if you were using your heat tools on this and you were popping a bit of a curl in it all these different high and low lights will really really be picked out by any texture you wanted to put into it it's obvious enough on it as it's straight but if you did anything to it at all it would only pick this beautiful color out all the more so that is the stunning very stunning sparkling champagne as you can see, very, very natural. If in genre no colours you are into the shaded praline blonde, which is the very, very popular uh, 12 FS8 colour, this is quite similar to that. Um, and I would say it's probably a nicer blend, actually. But if you're into the slightly warmer, slightly more golden blonde with a nicely shaded root in heat defiant fibre, and you've gone there with John Renault wigs, don't pass up this sparkling champagne. This is gorgeous. Next up, we have medium brown. Let's talk about it. So I'm not sure. No, it's not. I was just looking at these two. So it's a sparkling champagne once again. And I was looking at the darker color and thinking, is the darker color like the lighter colour here? I don't think it is. I think that this is still darker. But what you have is a similar kind of colour pattern in this one. So you have a beautiful, rich, deep chocolate as the kind of base shade of this. And it really is. I could just stroke this wig forever. These fibres are just incredible. They really are beautiful. So we have this lovely, warm, chocolatey colour. And then picking it out through the top, we have... Um, a kind of lighter, slightly golden, slightly warm. The word I want to use is toffee. It's like toffee-ish kind of colour. It reminds me a little bit, um, I'm trying to think of colours that are similar. John Renault, I think that they're, oh, now then, do they have a toffee syrup or something similar? One of their fashion syrup colours is like this, very similar. And it also reminds me quite a lot of the coffee lighted colour in Ellen Villa colour lines. And that I have that colour on um, disc. And this sort of front highlighting is quite similar to that. So I'm just going to sit back a bit so you can see that and give it a little look how beautiful that is. 
Isn't that fantastic? If you're a confirmed brunette, but you want more dimension to your colour, you can go on your hairdressers and ask them to do this. And it's one of those colours that's more expensive and more difficult to achieve than it looks. It's very natural. And there it is coming from the mono. It's perfection. Absolute perfection. So if you want more dimension to your brown shades, this here is uh, medium brown number seven. And I have to say, medium brown is a very simple name for what is actually a very complex and beautiful colour. Last but definitely not least is the colour that I was wearing in the review for the wig itself. So Duo Fiber Yuri in na -na -na -na, Chocolate Cherry. Check that out. So this is obviously quite red, quite auburny. It has as its base the same kind of chocolatey shade that we were looking at in the medium brown. I'm not convinced it's exactly the same colour, but it creates the same effect. It puts that um, base shade, sort of creates that dimension, if you like. If I pull that away a bit, you can see that. It's not a rooted colour, but it sort of looks a bit like it is. It's not you know, described as rooted or anything, but it's it because of that base brown, it creates that effect. Picking it out then through the top, you can see that we have at least a couple of shades of this sort of auburn and just occasionally flashes of what is a really quite bright and quite true red highlight but those are very very fine but that is what you're picking when you can see the light here what's picking out the red to you and creating that beautiful shine and you know those that sort of highlight where you can see the color standing out against the base it's those little flashes of those brightest of reds and it is absolutely stunningly beautiful blend. There's a lot of chocolate cherry out there. Some are nicer than others. Um, I think this is the nicest chocolate cherry shade I have ever seen on any wig ever. Um, it is both fashionable and funky, but also natural. So it doesn't look too um, artificial. It doesn't look artificial at all, I think it's probably fair to say. Um, and it is the most stunning, most flattering kind of red. I think it's the sort of red anyone could wear, and that's difficult to say because reds are harsh or can be harsh. But because it's anchored to this darker base shade, and that base shade itself is quite neutral and doesn't have a ton of warmth to it, if you think that red is going to be hard work for you, but you can carry off cooler brunettes, give this a try. It's kind of cool in its tone, despite the red in it. And as I say, it's that it's that base colour that is holding that together. I think this is fantastic and I'm fussy about reds, very fussy. This one, I adore. I'm getting married next year and I'm looking for a suitable wig to wear. And they say, you know, wear a wig in the style of your own hair or something that makes you feel like you. Um, I wear so many wigs and so many different styles, albeit all fairly short I don't get longer than bob length but it does mean that I'm struggling to find an idea of what I think might be my hair I love this wig and I love this color and as much as I you know I say oh I'll wear a blonde because I wear a lot of blondes I'm genuinely starting to think about whether or not this sort of a red might be in the running for the wedding hair and it's probably this chocolate cherry that's got me thinking like that. If you like a red, this is the one. And if you're not sure if you like a red, this is the one to try and cut your, uh, cut your teeth on. So I hope you enjoyed looking at all the colours of this lovely duo fibre Yuri. Um, I will sign off now. If you have any questions about this wig or any other wigs, then the good people at Simply Wigs are more than happy to help. So do uh, drop a comment down here somewhere or get in touch with them on the website um, and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching take care bye now